Welcome to OTR on the Ropes. Mark your calendars for October 17th as two number ones meet up at MGM Grand Casino in Las Vegas. Number one prospect Tiafimo Lopez challenges number one pound for pound fighter Vasily Lomachenko. The fight is scheduled as the main event on ESPN and will prove if Lopez is ready for the best of the best. The fight sparks up some reminiscent times of the old fight between the upcoming Canelo Alvarez against the prime Mayweather. Lopez will be fighting Lomachenko at the highest weight as well that Loma can make in order for it to be a competitive fight. Now coming into this fight, Lopez has been calling Lomachenko's name for years. In fact, it all started back in the 2016 Olympics when Lopez grabbed a bronze medal and caught Bob Arum's eyes. Although he dropped his fight with controversy behind it, Lopez inked a deal at the age of 19 years old with top rank. Lopez's power and potential shined early after picking up an early knockout in his debut. Despite earning some small impressions from the king of Lomachenko, Lopez earned respect from some of Lomachenko's opponents. The young Lopez began sparring with Luke Campbell and Guillermo Rigando before claiming his presence as the technical entertainer he is. Lopez's entertainment, combined with his superb counterattacking style, made him one of the best already. And once the two connected, Lopez went on a five-knockout streak starting against Vitor Jones. By the time Lopez hit the four-star fighters, Lopez began to analyze and trap his fighters into their weaknesses. He got handed many shots by Eddie Tatley before realizing Tatley opened up his body throughout the fight. By the fifth round, Lopez unleashed his sneaky power to Tatley's body and ended the fight. A few fights later, Lopez faced his toughest challenge yet, Richard Comey. Lopez absorbed right hooks every time he threw a left jab, but Lopez realized this case and threw a faint jab to lead to a fight-ending right hook in the fifth round. Lopez's final knockout claimed he was ready to take on Lomachenko with this quick 15-0 record with 12 knockouts. Lomachenko, on the other hand, began his career through the amateur ranks. He racked up nearly 400 wins to one loss that he later avenged, and by 2013, Lomachenko inked his deal and classed his pro debut and sparked interest with a knockout. He had the opportunity to also become the first fighter to win a title within his first two fights. However, a controversial loss to Orlando Salido ended Lomachenko with a 1-1 record early in his career. It also showed Lomachenko's weakness was heavy-hitting pressure fighters. Lomachenko, however, continued to dominate till he faced another pressure fighter of Jose Linares. Despite winning by knockout, many judges and fans had Lomachenko losing at that point of the fight by two or three rounds. Lomachenko could not handle those clinches nor pressure even though he was the pressure fighter himself. Lomachenko, however, improved in his next two fights against Pedraza and Cola before facing Luke Campbell in his last fight. This is where we saw prime Lomachenko make a five-star Campbell look like an amateur. The use of Lomachenko's angles left Campbell speechless and unable to compete. Looking into this fight, though, it's simple. The simple experienced pressure fighter against the young and powerful counterpuncher. If Lopez can break out of his comfort zone and put Lomachenko on his back foot, this could be a 50-50 fight. However, if he continues his counterattacks, Lomachenko will eat him alive and not allow Lopez time to analyze or adapt. If Lopez loses, though, it's not the end of the world. He is young enough to bounce back like Canelo. Yet if he wins, questions will stir up. Who will be the number one pound-for-pound fighter? How will Lomachenko and Lopez fall in the rankings? And when is the rematch? Because we know there will be one if Lopez wins. So make sure you keep your ears tuned and your eyes open for October 17th. Tiafimo Lopez, Vasily Lomachenko. Who do you have? Make sure you leave it in the comments.